Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a database in Postgres SQL. Okay. For this, I'm going to make use of PSQL shell. And first thing, go to your Postgres directory in Windows and then start your Postgres server. Once you start that, service will run in the background and you will be able to execute your commands through either command prompt or through psql shell next thing open psql shell it will look something like this on windows in case of linux and other os it will be a lot different depending on how it allows you to access i have only used psql shell on windows so here's how it works first thing we're going to check all the database available by using backward slash l and it will show you a list of database which is postgres 1252 templates test db as my database okay now here i'm going to write the query that allows me to create database so create database then let's say test db2 and then semicolon hit enter it should return with prompt that shows whether it is properly sent or not okay it returns with create database so let's hit slash here and here is your test db to create it through your query in sql okay so you have test db and test db2 as your another database added okay there is one more method through which you can create database simply open command prompt okay and then you can go to the directory okay through your basic one okay here i'm going to check that directory which is going to be postgres data pg10 so let's go postgres okay simply copy this if you want select this and then go to edit copy then come here then paste it okay now here you can type in command which is going to be psql then create db then dash h localhost is my server then dash p then port name or port address 5432 okay and dash u then username postgres and then your database let's say test bb3 if i hit enter and it will add one more database in our list of database within postgres okay so these two methods allow you to create database there is also a few other ways to create you can use some program such as pg admin or let's say php pg my admin okay so those are some of the additional ways through which you can create the database